Welcome to Streaming Dialects, my name is still Mr. Orange and welcome to a new video. Yeah, this video is more about my gaming week, I would call it. So it's not end of the week, it's more or less, uh, yeah, the starting of the week today is Tuesday in Western Europe in the place uh, where I live. And yeah, what was going on in my gaming world? So first of all, maybe that's interesting for you. Uh, I was yeah I was playing Metro Exodus a lot so I purchased it I think for 26 euros so at the moment we can check here on the stop page for example let's have a look so at the moment so it's 40 euros again so I was uh, I was purchasing it 40% uh, down so it was 26 euros I think or 24 euros and yeah, I was playing this quite a lot so 21 hours you can see it here in the in the middle of the screen and uh, yeah I took some nice pictures for example I took a picture of Greta in Russia 2033 <laughs> then I took a picture for example Greta meets uh, some special uh, yeah some sp some special bad thing so we are not allowed to say on youtube anymore and uh, this yeah this was my this was my gaming week so i was playing metro exodus 21 hours uh, did i enjoy this game yeah i thought actually overall it was a bit short to be honest so and and i always had some freezing box uh, when i was trying to to exit this game was it what was it now a better experience than the other Metro Exodus games? Yeah, it's difficult to say. I mean, first of all, I really liked uh, to continue playing this game, so I was not feeling uh, stopped or, or felt like ooh, I, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the desire to to continue to finish this game. What what sometimes happens with games? So, so it was really a game that I wanted to finish from the start to the beginning with some pauses so I was always playing it in the evening I was not really rushing through the game um, and I enjoyed I really enjoyed this time so definitely so I got some some nice achievements so everything fine there is it the masterpiece no it's not a masterpiece and I'm honest here so it's definitely not comparable with Metro uh, Last Light I think is the second one that I definitely liked more and also the graphics was a bit sometimes disappointing because the, 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 the textures were not really in high resolution and I was wondering what's the reason for this. So, well, I would say now it's a good game. Get it, get it cheap for 25 euros. Is it worth more? Mm, difficult to say. I mean, 21 hours I just played and I was really slow the first playthrough. Now I have new, a new game plus. Is it really worth it then? I don't really know. And then, then I was, yeah, I was then uh, going to play another game. So I was, uh, I was purchasing myself Star Wars, Star Wars Jedi Fallen, and I purchased this on CD keys for twenty six or also twenty four euros. I also forgot a little bit. Yeah, I think therefore I'm confused. So Star Wars Jedi Fallen installed it on Origin, so I didn't. I didn't buy it here on Steam. I mean, here on Steam it is quite expensive, so I had to, I had to buy it on, on uh, CD keys. So, and I'm playing this right now. Haven't finished it yet. So, what what do I think about Star Wars Jedi Fallen? I would say, I would say it's a it's an interesting mix between uh, some Prince of Persia. It reminds me a little bit of the old Prince of Persia games. So, Star Wars theme is impressive. Graphics are impressive, of course. Uh, the, 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 the lightsaber fights are kind of nice, well done. The levels are boring, the, the story is very, very deep. So yes, I have to admit this, it's a very deep story. So a lot of nice, uh, nice, nice interaction with NPCs and uh, dialogues, etc. So it's it's a game. It's worth it. The, the gameplay itself, let's say the fighting mechanics, they're okay, they're okay. I wouldn't say they are uh, perfect or especially amazing or like this. So here's the stop page, as we can see the start of the stop page. Yeah, so that's here my my go to my Steam Creator page, of course. If you if you like uh, nice uh, preview recommendations and the videos, so you always find them all up there. And also some nice games are coming out. So 
we can't go well, can't go into detail of those games in another video i would say so this metro exodus and then i got uh, some very nice games for review purpose so i got skull the hero slayer uh, I just played it a little bit, so I can't really give you a, 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 a real uh, review or opinion about this game yet, but what I played I enjoyed a lot, so it's an action roguelike pixel graphics game, so thanks to the developers for the review copy, I will definitely try to make a review video about this. So, ah, where is it? Oh, it's always turning green, I don't know. This might also happen to you guys so uh yeah you can get it for 15 euros here on steam it's an early access so great game so this is this is definitely a cool game that i got for review purposes then i got another interesting game for review purposes the name is hellpoint a thespian feast so only mixed reviews for now so it looks very cool also the dark souls uh, a fighting adventure feeling I think I haven't played it yet ah oh I didn't know it's actually free to play <laughs> that's cool okay cool yeah free to play game so then definitely you should check it out my friend so you have no excuse and another game that just came out and I think I had it already a bit longer in my uh, in my my library also a review copy I got for rising hell this game was fun or is fun this is a really fun game so also roguelike, uh, road light, roguelike. So you know there's a difference, and uh, definitely also cool pixel art game for fans. Then I played a bit Xenon Racer, also a game I got as a review copy. And Xenon Racer is actually I kind of enjoyed it. It felt like a good uh, Ridge Racer, good Ridge Racer title. So that's like I had the feeling of the good old Ridge Racer PlayStation titles back in the days. And then another game I haven't played yet, it will come out soon, is Bombing Quest. So it's some sort of Bomberman game. Also very, very cool idea. So also got it as a review uh, copy. Very cool, very cool. And then I got some other uh, games for a review copy, so, but they didn't fancy me so much for now. So I'm going to check out them a little bit later. Maybe Monster Energy Supercross and Scorchbringer and Luna. Also those three games I got uh, a review copy. So Luna I was already playing a bit, made a video. So I have to cut it and uh, make a, a voiceover. And same with Monster Energy Supercross 3. That's actually a pretty cool uh, Supercross game. And Scorchbringer also fantastic. Really, really guys, a fantastic, a fantastic um action pixel art roguelike title yeah you see so uh, live as a youtuber you get a lot of review copies and you're supposed to make a lot of videos so sometimes it's a bit uh, difficult to make all those videos of course but i do my best so i definitely um, definitely also talk about these games even if i don't make a, a review video i mostly already have done a preview video so check out my channel for those preview videos of course and now yeah let's let's change the subject so if you're not interested in the next uh, business finance stock market subject so thank you for very much for watching and then i see you in the next video when it's only about games but uh, you know i also like to talk about the stock market and therefore i come now here my friends so that's the nasdaq composite still trading in the us markets are still open and it's three percent down and uh, yeah you know the 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 disease we are not allowed to talk about uh, had a huge impact. Maybe it's also a question is maybe also another reason. Sometimes you don't know it so precisely. So that's the stock market now over three years. And yeah, it was nicely coming back. So I was profiting uh, from from this little correction to to purchase some more stocks. So I was purchasing some. Uh, an ETF fund. I was purchasing a German chemistry company as well uh, that I was purchasing um, Microsoft. So yeah, I built a little uh, position in Microsoft. And as you know, in one of my older videos, I was actually selling uh, Nvidia, where is my favorite Nvidia stock? Here it is. So I was selling Nvidia <laughs> at a pretty good place. So I was selling it here. I think a three three hundred ninety eight. So 
I, I made like 93 100% of Nvidia so doubled this stock so pretty pretty cool so yeah very interesting so uh, yeah I'm not a financial advisor blah 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 I'm just a youtuber and don't buy anything I talk about here so it's just for fun and entertainment yeah and then I was here and and I would say Nvidia might might be I mean the question is so I was like I was purchasing Microsoft now I really didn't expect now this drop today so I was purchasing Microsoft at two two terms or two times and I give it some time I would say the uptrend is still intact so if nothing too bad will happen and uh, yeah today the Fed uh, was uh, was lowering the interest rates uh, uh, 50 basic basic basis point so this is actually a lot so we will see what impact this actually will have so i still have activision still owner of activision but uh, of course uh activision was also dropping dropping really really annoyingly down so also was losing here we have from 63 so not too bad but uh, it's it's actually going up very slowly as you can see so it had had already a big it's big drop in September 2018 and since then uh, at the low in February 2019 since then it's going slowly up so let's hope we can see a little bit more there and then we have Nintendo Japanese stock well of course it's also down just reloading the page quickly Yes, it's down, but yeah, those are the moments. So maybe when it goes back to 30, what is it, dollar, I think, US dollars, then uh, it will be interesting again. Then Electronic Arts is actually up, which is, which is definitely interesting. So since all the other tech stocks are down, so Electronic Arts is up. Yeah, it was not running really well recently. So maybe therefore it's up. Then we have Take Two Interactive, also got a little hit. Uh, by the last uh, correction but the upward trend is more or less intact so if you really interested in take two interactive maybe that's the moment that you get it my friends then Ubisoft today yeah let's say the problem is the markets so the US markets uh, went down after the European markets were closing already so therefore uh, this is not really uh, you can't see the the uh, the reaction to the Fed uh, interest uh, lower, uh, lowering, so you don't see this here. So it might be otherwise also a bit more down. Uh, Capcom four percent, but look at this. I mean, extremely volatile. So, but uh, the upward trend is still intact. CD Projekt seven percent. What the heck? So also here they got hammered down very badly actually. Wow. Yeah, 14%. And now they went up today 7-8%. 7, yeah, 752, of course, to be precise. So, wow. Yeah, coming nicely back, definitely. Zynga Inga. Yeah, Zynga also is doing its way. And then we have Tencent, also investor in Tencent here. So Tencent is quite, quite stable. So it goes its direction. So... Of course, the Chinese government also pumps a lot of liquid, as I read, into the market. And now it's very interesting. So I would say the gap is closed here in NVIDIA. You can see it actually at the close of the gap. So I, I expect it to go up tomorrow again. Or I hope, let's say, I expect, I hope. I don't know it better than you do. Well, then Microsoft. So I hope also the trend is intact. So that my purchase of Microsoft wasn't. A mistake well let's see that one day range so you see it was actually all going well in, uh, on in the morning until then it dropped massively again and now it comes a little bit back so that's nice to hear that's nice to hear so well uh, stock market that's the, yeah that's the part of the video about the stock market and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, it's just just about things that I care about, that I was caring about this week when it comes to gaming and finances and stock market gaming, etc. And yeah, I, I just want to let you know. And if you, if you enjoy my videos, of course, 
check out some of my other videos, follow my channel, give me a commentary, a, a like, and I sometimes also do giveaways. So I did a giveaway, not so many people participated yet. And if anyone of those that participate in the giveaway, uh, write me an email. I have keys for you. I have gaming keys for you. Maybe not Metro Exodus, but some nice uh, indie games. So you should definitely write me an email and then you get your key. Otherwise I can't send you the key because I don't know who you are. <laughs> or I mean, where to send it. I don't have your email address. All right, my friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you the next time. Bye bye.